efforts. Well, there's still a divide on what should happen next with our homeless population in Austin. This comes after the public camping ban was reinstated by voters. KXAN's Jayla Washington shows us why people on both sides are eager for a solution. The push for voting yes to Proposition B to bring back camping restrictions was successful. I was very thrilled. I wasn't surprised at all. But now, Rupal Chaudhry, owner of Homewood Suites, is worried what might happen next. I'm not sure what's the right plan. This, as the city of Austin has already made plans for Candlewood Suites right next to hers and another hotel to convert them to house homeless people. I think city is failing to address this completely. So they are thinking they'll buy Candlewood, house people, and the problem will disappear. No. Those camping near downtown, UT Austin, or other public spaces not designated as a site by the city can get in trouble legally now. Bin Nahaima, a homeless advocate with the Texas Homeless Network, wishes voters didn't choose this. I would say disappointed. But know. he just wants to get people off the streets. I think the key here is urgency. The key here is a Travis County Commissioner's Court and making sure they do divert money not only to mental health, but to housing as well. Chaudhry wants another option that doesn't involve housing near her business's front doors or homes. So she's leading a lawsuit against the city to stop the purchase of Candlewood Suites. What is the plan? They have responsibility towards their taxpayers. They have responsibility towards homeless. They have responsibility towards the community. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. Well, the ban officially goes into effect next week on May 11th. The city hasn't said yet how it plans on beginning enforcement. Well, Mayor Steve Adler said he will now accelerate work with local partners to move people out of encampments and house 3,000 of them over the next three years. Now, that's a little over the number of people currently living on Austin streets and in shelters. This effort is all part of a report from a new coalition of city leaders and homeless advocates, the summit to address unsheltered homelessness in Austin aims to house 100 people by June, 200 by August, 400 by December, 1200 by October 2022, and 3000 by April 2024.